सत्यम तम वंदे गुरुपरंपरा आलय करुणालय नमा भगवत् पाद शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बागरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सहनौनक्त सह वीरवाई तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाषा वह ये ओं शातिशाशाति धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति कृत्सुपंता धातुब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडमुक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्वी लोका सप्तद्वीपा चेघनी so we looked at the 16th sangati bhashya 16th verse bhagavatah ishwarasya narayanakya se vibhuti sankshepa uktah vishishto upadi krutah yadaditya gatam tejah ityadina beginning with the 12th verse till the 15th chaturbhi shlokaihi with the fourth uh, through, through the four shlokas the vibhuti sankshepa of bhagwan was seen and that was as the tejah and aditya ityadi atha aduna now hereafter tasseva kshraksharo upadi pravibhaktataya nirupadikasya kevalasya swarupa nirdhara ishaya uttare shloka arabhyante so nirguna brahma is going to be talked about after having spoken about the saguna brahma aspect तत्र सर्वमेव अतीत अनागता all the topics ideas are grouped together club together in a three fold manner and thereby rashi krutya bhagavanah who wants to take this verse i can take the verse yeah i can take yes please uh, uh, this uh, 16th verse dwamima upurushau loke क्षरक्षाक्षर एव क्षर सर्वा भूता लोके क्षर च अक्षर च सफरी एव क्षर सर्वा भूता अक्षर उच्य क्षर इज प्रथम प्रथम विभक्ति एक वचन लोके सप्तमी is karmani prayoga uchyate so all these are called so yeah so nothing more to loke so loke you can start the anvay from loke yeah dhoimo loke, loke kshara akshara evacha so yeah. there are two purushas there kshara and kshara purusha akshara 
अक्षरा सर्वाणि भूतानि कूटस्थ अक्षर उच्यते सर्वाणि भूतानि देर आर शरीर देर कूटस्थ इज दि चैतन्य विदिन स एव अक्षरा और यर इन दि त्रयोदशाध्याय कॉल्ड एस क्षेत्र सो नथिंग मोर टू डू देर देर इज नॉट मच टू डू अन वाई अबाउट सो दौ इम वोडार दो पृथक राशि कृत ग्रुप टुगेदर इन और ग्रुप इन टू फोल्ड कैटेगरी सो टू फोल्ड वॉट इज दट पुरुष दो बोथ आर पुरुषास बट देन राशि कृत पृथक राशि कृत डिफरेंशिएटेड इन ग्रुप्स इति उच्चेते सो दे आर सेट टू सो हियर उच्चेते हैज बीन सेड लेटर सो ही इज यूजिंग द कर्मणि प्रयोग हियर एज़ वेल सो पुरुष उच्चेते दे आर सेट टू बी एज इन द वर्ल्ड देयर आर सेट टू बी टू टाइप्स ऑफ पुरुषास लोके मींस संसारे क्षरश्चरी सिंगल सिंगुलर हैज बीन यूज अक्षर तद विपरीत तद विपरीत इज विनाशी विपरीत भगवत माया शक्ति क्षराख्य पुरुष से उत्पत्ति बीज अनेक संसारी जंतु काम कर्मादि संस्कार आश्रय अक्षर पुरुष उच्य थे सोडे अक्षर देर अक्षर इनिशियली स्टार्ट बै से अक्षर इज भगवत माया शक्ति तद विपरीत सो नॉट विनाशी माया शक्ति इज नॉट विनाशी माया इज भगवान शक्ति इट के नॉट बी विनाशी एंड स्टार्टिंग देर क्षराख्य से पुरुष से उत्पत्ति बीज दिस माया शक्ति इज दि बीज फॉर दि उत्पत्ति ऑफ दि क्षर पुरुष मीनिंग सर्वाणि भूतानि For all bhutas, the bija is Maya Shakti hi, because Nirguna Brahma cannot do anything. So this Maya Shakti, magical Shakti, karyanu meya Maya, which is known through the karya, we have to infer some Shakti in in Brahma, and that Brahma being Nirguna cannot be the creator. Thereby, Maya Shakti is inferred. as his own shakti not really different from him cannot be said to be in fact that nirguna brahma becomes saguna as though from the perspective of the karya so kshrakyasya purushasya utpatti bijam that is maya shakti hi aparah purushah aksharah purushah एंड अनेक संसारी जंतु काम कर्मादि संस्कार आश्रय अक्षर पुरुष उच्यते सी ऑल थ्री लिंगा हैव बीन यूज माया शक्ति स्त्री लिंगा देन अक्षर पुरुष इज पुलिंग वेर एज उत्पत्ति बीज इज नपुंसक लिंग ऑल थ्री हैव बीन यूज बियॉन्ड जेंडर बेसिकली so that kind of a purusha is just a name given to brahma so kshrakshas kshrakshas purushas se utpatti bijam aneka sansari jantu kama karmaadi sanskar aashraya it is the aashraya for many aneka but sansari jantu sansari jantu sansara sya sthiti sansari 
who is a samsari each jantu each jeeva whether a human being or not each jantu is a samsari and it is an ashraya for those jantus and then thereby the jantus once they get the sharira and continue in samsara being samsaris then kama is manifest ragadvesha ityadi rupena then karma to fulfill that that kama karma follows adipadena all everything whatever a person is looking for or has all that can be included and thereby all of these and sanska sanskara sanskara ashraya it is a support for all of this that is said to be maya shakti non different from the purusha therefore aksharah purusha uchyate kautav purushau iti ah swayam eva bhagavan so just by saying there are two purushas kshara and akshara i mean initially he just said dvavimau purushau loke then kshara ha akshara eva cha thereby kautav purushau iti who are those purushas iti swayam eva bhagavan ah bhagavan krishna himself reveals those as kshara ha and akshara kshara ha what is this kshara ha initially has said kshara but kshara purusha perishable akshara purusha imperishable nothing more than this is known therefore in the second half he says kshara ha sarvani bhutan and akshara is kutastah so he himself clarifies who is kshara purusha and who is akshara purusha kshara ha sarvani bhutani meaning samastam vikara jatam ityartah the entire group of products effects created so not only sentient beings everything that is created is included there the sentience in the sentient being is not really created so what is created is the stula sukshma sharira so samastam vikara jatam ityartah kutastah on the flip side aksharah is kutastha kutha is rashi rashi riva rashi hi sthitah rashi riva sthitah present like a heap generally the heap does not move in regular wind so that is a comparison that something heaped up athava otherwise bhagwan bhashyakara gives a different definition for kutha kutah माया वंचना जिम्मता कुटिलता इति सो देर आर अदर यू नो सिनोनिम्स फॉर कूट यू नो यू हर्ड दिस कूट वेर इज इट यूज कुटिलता वी नो कुटिलता कुटिलता इज नॉट समथिंग विच इज सॉट आफ्टर कुटिलता इज क्रिकेटनेस ऑपोजिट टू यू नो रुजु भाव जनरली पीपल धार्मिक पीपल रिमेन स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट देन कुटिलता इज वेन समथिंग वॉन्ट समथिंग एल्स यू नो शोकेस इज समथिंग एल्स इन अ क्रुकेट वे गेट्स थिंग्स डन सो दैट कुटिलता इज देर सो कुटिलता इति पर्याया all these maya vanchana jimhata kutilata iti paryaya and starting with kuta and understanding it to be kutilata in the ending word we know the others also have a similar shade of meaning maya also means magic what is magic used for entertainment at times but then magic is used to deceive so there is kutilata involved in maya that is vikshepa the initial kutilata is by maya by creating the vikshepa because there is avidya avidya has avarana shakti and vikshepa shakti so maya has both it wails and then projects that is kutilata it is 
it is deceptive shows you the way you are not and thereby one continues in samsara under the influence of maya shakti so kutaha is equal to maya why because maya projects falsehood therefore vanchana vanchana is also it's cheating jimhata is falsehood and kutilata is crookedness so all these are paryayas of kutaha and kutastha is this akshara purushah so who is that kutastha he is present in this maya deceptive maya kute tishtati iti kutastha not kuta what here earlier kutaha rashi riv rashi hi so rashi riv sthitah present like kuta so kuta what tishtati iti kuta in the earlier meaning when kuta is taken as rashi athava when you take this second paksha kuta is equal to maya then not maya what tishtati not like a deceptive person but kute tishtati saptami there with this saptami you have to make an upapada tatpurusha so kute tishtati iti kutastha अनेक माया वंचनादि प्रकारेण स्थितः कूटस्थः संसार बीजान्य बीज अनेक माया वंचनादि प्रकारेण स्थितः सो यू कैन से इन आई लुक दैट इज अ कूटे स्थितः बट भगवान भाष्यकार इज सेइंग दैट प्रेजेंट कूटस्थ ही इज टेकिंग एज Maya itself, because the earlier meaning has been given, kute tishtati will land to into akshara purusha. But earlier, what has been what has been said here, Maya shakti hi sharakhyasya purusha se utpatti bijam, and uh, what has been said is Bhagavata ha Maya shakti hi, and then it has been said as akshara purusha in samanya dikaran. उत्पत्ति बीजम एंड देन लैंड्स ऑन अक्षरा पुरुषा सो माया शक्ति इज नॉट भिन्न फ्रॉम पुरुषा बिकॉज वी हैव सीन वन इज पराशक्ति अनदर इज अपराशक्ति बोथ आर बोथ हैव बीन क्लेम टू बी मी बाय कृष्णा कृष्णा हैज सेड अर्लियर दैट बोथ आर मी paraashakti as well aparashakti so paraashakti and aparashakti being bhagavan maya shakti is also bhagavan and there is akshara purusha also bhagavan thereby when he says kutastha in the athva paksha also if you take as akshara purusha then para paraashakti then it will mean kute tishtati and if you take as maya shakti apara shakti then aneka maya vanchanaadi prakarena sthitah that is maya which is present in the uh, you know in in a deceptive manner in that manner so prakarena if you don't land into brahma tattva by akshara then you can just assume it to be maya itself so akshara and akshara akshara here is uh, in a relative it is not completely imperishable but you can say that it is relative it has relative oh, in again. comparison to its karya so that way akshara can mean only maya also thereby we don't need the kute tishtati iti kutastha that definition we can say kuta vat tishtati and kuta prakarena tishtati thereby aneka maya vanchanaadi prakarena sthitah that is kutastha which, which is akshara which is maya shakti and further um, 
या फर्दर संसार बीज अनंत्यात नक्षरती इति अक्षरा उच्चते वाय अक्षर वाय माया इज कॉल्ड एज अक्षर बिकॉज संसार बीज अनंत्यात बीजानंत्यात बिकॉज ऑफ संसार बीज नेवर स्टॉप्स टू बी देर इज नेवर अ नेवर एन एंड नेवर डज दी सीड एक्सॉस्ट दी ड्यू टू आनंत्यम आनंत्यम ऑफ संसार बीज सो संसार बीजानंत्यात नक्षरती देर फोर नक्षरती अक्षर नंज तत्पुरुष नक्षरती अक्षर बट वाय न क्षरती माया क्षरती तू बिकॉज इट इज त्रिगुणात्मिक माया हाउ कैन देर बी नो यू नो नो पेरिशिंग रिटिवली इट डज नॉट पेरिश देर फोर explanation given is that it has a continuous series of seeds of samsara thereby nakshrati iti so it is apekshika with the way maya is said to be nitya also how apekshika nityatvam it has apekshita uh, nityatvam similarly here explanation has to be given akshara should be used for brahma but why is it used for maya because nakshrati because of having an endless series of samsara bija so that is the 16th verse continuing who wants to take this even or should i take it i can try yes ma angati bhachya first okay abhyam kshraksharabhyam anyah vilakshanah kshraksharopa adi dvaya dosha kshraksharopa adi dvaya doshena kshraksharopa adi dvaya doshena asprishtah nitya shuddha buddha mukta स्वभाव and bhagwan bhashyakar has said that nirguna brahma is being led into so therefore akshara can be nirguna brahma but here abhyam sharakshara abhyam anyaha vilakshanah there is someone different from these the sarvabhutas karya and maya so maya and maya karya if they are taken as akshara and akshara purusha then anyaha vilakshanah क्षरक्षरोपाधिपाधिपाधिंग Now we land into the seventeenth verse. It will appear as though two types of purushas are talked about. One may appear as Jiva, the other as Ishara. However, the Bhagwan Bhaskara looks further and says, "Uttama purusha ha anya ha is going to come up. Therefore, abhyam sharak sharabhyam purusha abhyam anya ha vilakshana ha." There is. Someone different from these two purushas, and once you say that there is something other than akshara and akshara, then akshara cannot mean Brahma. It can mean only avyakta. Akshara akshara upadhi dvaya doshe na. You know each of these have doshas, so those purushas having doshas. Sharanakshara both have doshas. Aspruṣṭaḥ, this vilakṣṇa anyaḥ 
Purushaha is so earlier it has been said that there are two Purushas. Now third Purusha is being introduced, who is different from the earlier two. This is the real Purusha. Purishete iti Purushaha. Puranat Purusha. That is this Purusha introduced in the seventieth verse, who is Aspruta, who is completely untouched by doshas of the earlier two Purushas. Why so? Because he is Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta Swabhava. Bauri. Nitya Shuddha 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 Buddha Shuddha Mukta Shuddha Swabhava. Asya. Asya iti Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta Swabhava. He has the nature of being Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta. Therefore, and he is Aspurta. Therefore, Shuddha. Goshirin Aspurtaha, therefore Shuddhaha. And Buddha shows the Chaitanya Sarupa, Chit Sarupa. Nitya anyway we know, such Sarupa. Mukta, ever free, there is never samsaritum for this Purusha. What is this Shuddha? Uttama Purusha Stanyaha Paramatme Tyudahrataha Yoloka Yoloka Vishya Vibhatya Vyaya Ishwaraha. So Uttamaha Purushaha Tu Anyaha Anyaha Tu Anyaha Paramatma Iti Udahrataha Yaha Loka Trayam Avishya Vibhati Avyaya Ishwaraha. Paramatma Udahrata Yaha Yaha Lokatrayam Avisha Yaha Lokatrayam Avisha Yuvarti Yuvarti So you can uh, there are many ways to do the Anvaya Yaha so we can take Yaha Yaha hmm. Lokatrayam Avisha Yuvarti So Vivarti. Vivarti. Loka Trayam Yo Vivarti nourishes having entered Avishya Pravishya. Pravishya. One who enters the Loka Traya. Hmm. Jiva Rupena. Or Ishwara Rupena. Sakshi Rupena. That is Avya Ishwara. Hmm. That Anya. Anya Tukta Maha. Hmm. He will say Saha. Saha Paramatma So that same entity who has entered the Lokatraya and nourishes the Bibharti is Bibharti uh, is Bharane Bharane so one who supports so one who supports entering the three Lokas he is said to be and we can say Abhyam Anya. Anya means Abhyam Anya earlier. Earlier two. Compared to the earlier two, there is another. And this Purusha is said to be Paramatma. Or we can say Anya to Uttama Purusha Yaha Paramatma iti Udahruta Yaha Avyaha Cha Incharaha Loka Trail Avishya Vivarti. So it can be taken either way. He supports. So he supports the Lokatraya. So Uttamaha. Uttamaha. Utkrishtatamaha. Uttama is superior, meaning the most superior. That Purusha to Anyaha Atyanta Vilakshana. No, not a little different, completely different. Actually, he is the only existent, Sat. 
सो दट इज दि अत्यंत विलक्षण किम सचित आनंद स्वरूप देर इज नो आनंद एलसवेर देर इज नो सत्य एलसवेर देर इज नो चित्त एलसवेर आभ्याम परमात्मा सो आभ्याम अत्यंत विलक्षण अन्य मीन्स आभ्याम अत्यंत विलक्षण हु इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दि अर्लियर टू परमात्मा उदाहृत परमात्मा मीन्स वोट परमश्च असौ आत्मा च कर्मधारे परमश्च असौ आत्मा चीज परमात्मा एंड वॉट इज परम हियर परमश्च असौ देहाद्य विद्या परम परम परमह परम मीन्स देहाद्य विद्या कृतात्मभ्य हिस्स परम परम और परम सेम मीनिंग परम कंपेर टू वॉट कंपेर टू दि देहादि अविद्या कृत आत्मा दि आत्मा आत्मा देर इज शरीर विच इज दि रिजल्टंट देर फोर वी कैन टेक दि आत्मा एज स्थूल एंड सूक्ष्म शरीर देहादि देहादि अविद्या कृत आत्मभ्य one who is different from the dehadi avidya so then the atmas which are what such as body deha which is created by avidya so different from atmabhya paramah He is superior to all of these which are created. Atma cha paramaha cha atma cha aso paramaha cha aso atma cha. So who is that atma? Sarvabhuta nam pratyek chetan ha. Atma means sarvabhuta nam pratyek chetan ha. That same one who is different from all these, superior to all these, is also the innermost self for everyone, for all bhutas. परमात्मा उदाहृत देर फोर इज कॉल्ड एज परमात्मा वाई बिकॉज इज परम बीइंग सुपीरियर टू ऑल दि क्रिएटेड एंड आत्मा दि इनर मोस्ट इन ऑल दि क्रिएटेड देर फोर ही इज कॉल्ड एज परमात्मा उदाहृत मीन्स उक्त वेर वेदांत इन उपनिषद ही इज टॉक्ड अबउट As Paramatma, because Param and Atma, Ishvara and Atma, are pointed out to be same, taught to be same in Vedanta. Therefore, Vedanta Shu Udahta. Sayeva Vishishyate Yah Lokatrayam Bhurva Swarakhyam Swakiya Ya Chaitanya Balashaktya Avishya, meaning Pravishya Vivarti. So say say Vishishyate the same Paramatma. is being talked about is his visheshanas are given say vishishyate means the same paramatma has some other visheshanas which are given as yah lokatrayam avishya means pravishya having entered the three worlds which are the three worlds bhur bhu and suva called as bhur bhu suva therefore bhur bhu swarakyam स्वर और स्वर बहुत आरोप के सो भूर वो स्वराख्यम और भूर वो स्वराख्यम स्वकीय या चैतन्य बलशक्तिया हाउ डज ही एंटर हैविंग एंटर बट हाउ डज ही एंटर दैट इज सेड हियर एस स्वकीय या बाय वन सेल्फ मीनिंग चैतन्य बलशक्तिया यूजिंग दी Power, shakti in the form of chaitanya and bala. Uh, sorry, uh, bala of chaitanya. So we can say this shakti in the form of bala of chaitanya, or chaitanya which is like bala. Either way, samasa can be seen as chaitanya bala miva. That is the shakti and. other way to see it is as the strength of consciousness bala of chaitanya in the end it will mean the same thing there is nothing else 
which is real. So all bala is Chaitanya bala itself. And avishya means pravishya having entered vibharti, he supports how swaru, uh, swarupa sadbhava matrena vibharti. Vibharti means dharayati supports. How does it he support? There is no kartrutva there. It is swarupa sadbhava matrena. Just by mere presence and not slipping from one's own nature. Swarupa remains the same. It does not change. That is why it is a Swarupa. And Swarupa Sadbhava Matra. Now, what is that Sadbhava Matra? Just the mere presence. Just being there is supporting by lending Satta. In lending also there is no Kartrutva. It is just Swarupa is Sadbhava Matra and the the dharana of everything that there is, Lokatraya, is just its Swabhava. Ishwara Swabhava, just by mere presence, the Lokatraya borrows the Satta and Chitta. That is called as dharana here, as Dibharti Dharayati. And avyaya, avyaya is na asya vyaya vidyate iti avyaya does not have a have any change. Therefore, avyaya kaha who is that Ishara ha? Ishara is sarvajna as discussed in the thirteen chapter, also called as Narayana. Therefore, sarvajna ha. Narayana Akhyaha Ishana Shilaha Ishara Ishara has Varach Pratya Varach is Tachilya Varach Tachilya Therefore Bhagavan Bhashyakara brings out the Vyakrana meaning There is a Tachilya Pratya there Tachilya Pratya meaning This Ishana Ishana is the very Sabhava By Sabhava he is the overlord Therefore, and what is Tachilya? See, we say Bhagavan Bhashyakara. Not someone who has written one Bhashya, you know, in the entire life with great effort, some Bhashya has been written. That kind of a person can be called as Bhashyakara, but not really Bhashyakara in that sense. Why is anyone a Bhashyakara, Tikakara? Because Tachilya na Bhashyankaroti. It is the very Sheila is to co comment and teach. Similarly, here this Varach Pratya is a Tatshilya Pratya. So very Sheila is to Sheila na is Ishana. Continues to rule over, continues to no in any which way that Ishwaratam. What is Ishwaratam? Whatever we understood by Ishwaratam, because it has a Rudi Artha. That Rudi Artha is due to the Yogika Varach Pratya. It is not something which comes and goes. It is the very Sahava. He is always an Ishwara. Not once in a while, you know, Ishwara Karya is being done by him. He is always Ishwara. So, Ishana Shilaha. Further, little longer, so I will take this. Yatha Vyakhyatasya Isharasya. The Ishara who has been commented upon in this manner or not commented. Vyakhyata is one Krishna himself has revealed. So the way he has been narrated about, the Ishara who has been talked about, who has been narrated in the manner. In the earlier shloka, in whichever manner, Purushottama ityetat nama prasiddham. That Ishwarasya prasiddha namam kim prasiddham nama. That is Purushottama iti. So there is, there is a name which is well known, Purushottamaha. So there are Purushas, Kshara Purusha, Akshara Purusha. And there is another Purusha who is Paramatma. 
एंड ही इज आभ्यम अन्य अत्यंत विलक्षण देर बाय ही इज परमा चो आत्मा परमात्मा ईश्वर एंड बीइंग परम ही इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज पुरुषोत्तम एंड दिस पुरुषोत्तम हु इज इट रियली दिस पुरुषोत्तम समास इज पुरुषश्च असो उत्तमश्च ही इज पुरुष बट ऑल्सो उत्तम सो इज ए मोस्ट सुपीरियर बीइंग उत्तम इज उत्तम तम नाउ दिस पुरुष एंड उत्तम इफ यू जस्ट स्वैप देम इट्स अ कर्मधार इट कैन गो इन एनी ऑर्डर सो पुरुष एंड उत्तम इफ यू स्वैप देम यू गेट उत्तम पुरुष इन व्याकरण यू गेट उत्तम पुरुष उत्तम पुरुष इज फर्स्ट पर्सन प्रत्येक आत्मा सो पुरुषोत्तम हु इज ईश्वर हु इज बीन सेट टू बी परमात्मा हु इज परम परम चो आत्मा च सो परम इज पुरुषोत्तम हु इज सेट टू बी सुपीरियर टू दी क्षर एंड अक्षर पुरुष एंड आत्मा इज प्रत्येक चेतना सर्वभूता प्रत्येक चेतना दैट आत्मा प्रत्येक आत्मा इज उत्तम पुरुष सो पुरुषोत्तम इज परम एंड आत्मा इज उत्तम पुरुष इफ यू जस्ट स्वैप दी वर्ड्स दट इज हाउ यू गेट दी ऐक्य इवन इन व्याकरण दृष्टि प्रसिद्ध वेल नोन नेम तम निर्वचन प्रसिद्धिया अर्थवत्व नाम दर्शयन निरतिशय अहम ईश्वर आत्मा दर्शयती भगवान सो भगवान इज शोइंग दर्शयती कॉजिटिव निजंत प्रयोग कॉजिटिव शी शोज वॉट डज भगवान शो आत्मा He shows Atmanam is what it is reflexive here. He shows himself. How Atmanam darshayati Bhagwan. He reveals himself rather. Shows means he reveals himself as what nirati shaya aham Ishwara. I am nirati shaya. Nirati shaya, unsurpassable. Be- beyond me there is nothing. That kind of Ishwara, I am. I am that Ishwara. Shows Bhagwan, well known as Purushottama, and Tasya Nama Nirvachana Prasiddhya. Using that well known name as Purushottama, Tasya Ishwara Sya Nama Prasiddhi. Using that Nama Prasiddha Nama, Arthavatvam Nama Naha Darshan. Nama Naha Arthavatvam Darshan. Showing the, pointing out the arthavatum, meaningfulness of that name. Why Purushottama? This is a rudi artha, very well known. But why, why so? Why Purushottama? Showing that he says that I am that Ishvara. Thereby he reveals himself as Purushottama. What is the verse? क्षर क्षरम प्रतीत अहम अक्षरा अभी उत्तम अतः अस्मी फोर लोके वेदे च प्रतीत पुरुषोत्तम अस्मी दट इज अर्थवत्व दर्शयति shows the meaningfulness how yasmat kshram atitah kshram atitah meaning beyond the kshara kshara purusha which has been said to be sarvani bhutani earlier so bhagavan is atitah 
उत्तम अतीत ही इज बियॉन्ड दी क्षरपुरुष देन वड़ा वड़ अक्षर अक्षरात अभी जो उत्तम हाँ ऑल्सो सुपीरियर टू अक्षर पुरुष देर फोर अतः सो यस्मात अतीत उत्तम अतः देर फोर लोके वेदे चुषोत्तम प्रतीत अस्मी देर फोर वी कैन से पुषोत्तम प्रतीत अस्मी वी कैन सप्लाय देर एंड से यस्मा अहम फिलिंग दी केस इज लेटर इजी टू कॉपी सो अहम शरम अतीत अक्षरा अभी च उत्तम अस्मी अतः लोके वेदे च पुषोत्तम प्रतीत अस्मी प्रथित अस्मी यस्मा पंचमी एक वचन क्षरम अतीत द्वितीय अतीत इज प्रथम अक्षरा पंचमी कंपेरेटिव हियर यस्मा यस्मा इज पंचमी इज गो टुगेदर एस सिंस एंड देर फोर अतएस पंचमी अर्थे तसिल अभी च अव्ययास उत्तम प्रथम एक वचन अस्मी उत्तम पुरुष एक वचन लोके वेदे च लोके एंड वेदे आर सप्तमी एक वचन च अव्यय प्रथित अस्मी प्रथित इज वेल नोन प्रसिद्ध इतना सो यस्मा क्षरमतीत अहम आई एम बियॉन्ड दि क्षरपुरुष संसार माया वृक्ष अश्वत्थाख्यम अतिक्रांत अहम नाउ सर्वाणी भूतानी सर्वाणी भूतानी is a meaning given for this kshara purushah you seen here kshara sarvani bhutani and in the beginning of the chapter it has been you know the explanation of the prapancha has been through ashwatta vrukshah so bhagavan bhashyakara brings back that and sums it up sansara maya vruksham which has been said to be the prapancha and sarvani bhutani are nothing but prapancha therefore sansara maya vruksha sansara maya vruksha which is called as ashwatha earlier so ashwathakyam atita means atikrantaha atita here is atikrantaha aham further o aksharad api uttamaha uttama means उत्कृष्टतम मोस्ट सुपीरियर एंड कंपेर टू अक्षर ऑल्सो अक्षर हेज बीन सेट टू बी अव्यक्त माया विच इज संसार माया रूप वृक्ष बीज भूताद अभी संसार माया वृक्ष सर्वाणी भूतानी एंड संसार माया रूप वृक्ष बीज भूताद अभी उत्तम कंपेर टू दि अन्मेनिफेस्ट ऑल्सो सुपीरियर उत्कृष्टतम एंड इन दी वृक्ष एक्सापल इट वॉज सेट टू बी यू नो ऊर्ध्व दी ऊर्धमूल अध शाखा सो ऊर्धमूल दैट मूल विच इज ऊर्ध्व इज देर इट इज नॉट तत्पुरुष देर इट इज बहुरी सो दैट वृक्ष इज डिस्क्राइब एज वन विच है संसार वृक्ष इज दैट which has mula which is urdhva the mula is upward meaning subtle and not seen that kind of a karana basically karana mula is unseen 
here it is uttamaha is utkrushtatamaha urdhvatamaha va so it is that which is upwards subtle and karana which is superior therefore bijabhuta adapi urdham that kind of a urdha moola is the vruksha ataha tabhyam tabhyam sharakshrabhyam uttamatvat asmi loke vede cha pratitaha prakhyataha pratita is prakhyata well known prasiddha as what as purushottamaha iti evam mam bhakta janaha viduhu so the bhaktas know me he says as purushottamaha and why am i called as purushottama because hasafal where loke vedicha by whom bhakta jana by bhakta jana i am addressed as purushottama because of uttamatvam being superior to kshara and akshara purushas kavayaha kavyadishu cha idam nama nibadnanti and kavis use this you know it's a favorite word for them as well many a place you will see this being used therefore kavyadishu cha kavayaha idam nama nibadnanti they create poems using this name purushottamaha ityanena abhidhanena abhigranan abhigrananti so they employ they use this kind of a word not this kind this word it is prasiddha and because of kavya it has become prasiddha in loka and vedas anyway vedas also in vedas also it is prasiddha thereby calling me as purushottama they praise me they mention abhigranati can be a mention abhidanena abhigrananti so using the name by name they praise or mention that is the 18th verse who wants to take the next one i can take yeah oh anand is here okay ata idani ata idani yata yata niruktam आत्मानं यो वेद तस्य इदं फलं उच्यते सो अथ देयर आफ्टर इदानीम नाउ सो दे अथ इदानीम इज देयर आफ्टर नाउ यू नो यथा निरुक्तम आत्मानं यो वेद तस्य इदं फलं उच्यते वेरी सिंपल रिजल्ट इज मेंशन ऑफ दैट व्हाट इज दैट यह आत्मानं यथा निरुक्तम वेद वन हु नोस द आत्मा एज डिस्क्राइब not only in this chapter in the entire gita thus far tasya idam phalam uchyate so phala keeps on coming up again and again so that it is not lost on a person why should i take so much of effort why shravana manodhyasana this is going on endlessly so there may be some thinking like that because of our biases we don't care that we keep on repeating the whole thing entire life we have been repetitive but when it comes to shravana we don't want repetition i mean shabdata repetition obviously nobody likes but then the idea is this has come up this has come up again but then phala is lost on the person therefore phala is also mentioned again to keep the focus so that the listener keeps the focus what is the verse yo ma meva ma sammudo janati purushottamam जातिषोत्तम सह सर्वजति भारत सो Verb here is uh, Janati. Yeah. Janati. So, Yaha Asamudha are both the Prathama Vibhakti Ekvachana. Yeah. Mam Evam 
एवं विधि अव्ययक्त माम माम जाना माम विधि द्वितीय अविभक्ति एक वचन तृतीय विभक्ति एक वचन सो वी कैन से यह माम एवं असमूढ़ सन जानाती सो असमूढ़ सन वी कैन से सो विवेक विवेक इज देयर देयर व्हाय मोह इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर वन हु इज अलर्ट एंड हैज विवेक सो असमूढ़ सन यह माम एवं जानाती हाउ पुरुषोत्तमम इति और वी कैन से एवं पुरुषोत्तम सो इट इज बेटर पुरुषोत्तम जानाती और वी कैन से पुरुषोत्तम जानाती दट इज ऑल्सो सो माम पुरुषोत्तम जानाती और वी कैन इवन से यह असमूढ़ सन माम पुरुषोत्तम जानाती सो वी कैन टेक इट एज ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव कॉम्प्लीमेंट so it is predicated i am predicated to be purushottama so who knows me as purushottama how in this manner and himself is not deluded therefore he knows that i am that purushottama who is talked about in vedas and loka uh, prasiddha prasiddha as purushottama the ishwara saha that person saha sarva vit because once he knows purushottama why he knows purushottama as superior to kshara and aksharha both and that kshara and aksharha across the chapters therefore evam has been added there evam in this manner the way it has been taught completely thereby aikya is understood there thereby sarva vit otherwise sarva vit in the upanishad is what has to be ekena ज्ञान ज्ञानेन सर्वम ज्ञातम भवति सो व्हाट इज दैट इन छंदोग्य उपनिषद द क्वेश्चन इज टू द शिष्य द गुरु आस बिफोर टीचिंग हैव यू आस्क्ड इन द गुरुकुल हैव यू आस्क्ड योर टीचर्स हैव यू आस्क्ड योर आचार्यस दैट ज्ञान वन सिंगुलर ज्ञान नोइंग व्हिच एवरीथिंग बिकम्स नोन so here knowing that purushottama who is sarva karana nam karanam that kind of a purushottama who is himself without karana eka ekameva dvitiya so ekameva dvitiya cannot be different from you he has to be one nobody can be different nothing and nobody can be different from this purushottama really that is evam really only then sarva sarva vittvam is possible otherwise how will one become sarva vit if one knows literally knows krishna as who is called as krishna as purushottam what do you get out of it you know bhagwan krishna you know him as purushottam how will you become sarva vit due to that only when you know that purushottam ishvara is karana of all karya karya is karana bhinna it is non different from karana and that i am otherwise all karya i am not created sharira is created everything in the prapancha is created my body is a part of that prapancha i am not created and that is revealed in the shruti as purushottama knowing that as your own swarupa that purushottama as your own swarupa they then alone that person can be sarva vit otherwise he'll know karana ishvara and he'll know karya sharira what about me the question who am i will linger on how will he be a sarva vit the entire journey is 
is with who I really am. I want to know who I am. What is this prapancha that I objectify? Who is the creator? And what are the relations between the prapancha and the creator? Prapancha and me and the creator and me. Unless I know all this, I, unless I know all three and the connections among all three, I cannot be a Saravavit. So the one who is Saravavit has to necessarily know everything. He has to resolve, solve everything. There's no optional question there. You know, solve two out of three. That's not possible because the mind will is not looking for marks there. It's not looking for a distinction or, you know, 100 on 100. You have to solve all three. So thereby, Sarvavits has to know everything. There should be no doubt. Thereby, the answer of I will also be resolved. Only then the person will be Sarvavits. And it can be resolved not being another. It has to be the, the way Shruti says that there is only one Ishwara, one Brahma Tattva, and that has to be me. Even if it is known as as simple as not being a Karya. I am not a Karya. I am separate from the Sharira Traya, Kosha, Pancha Kosha. There itself, I know that I am not a Karya. Everything else is created. Then, then how can I be different from Purushottama? Sa sarva with maam bhajati sarva bhavena. Therefore, sarvatma bhava is possible only then. We'll look at the bhashya in the next part. Huh? We'll stop here. Narayana paravyakta dandam avyakta sambhavam andasyanta sumilu ka saptad dvipa chame jini. Any questions? Okay, I'll see you in the next quarter. Namaste. Yeah. Good to see you, Ankadeshji. Namaste, Prabhinji. Danyavada.